Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 10 Pro and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. Now when you put it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here and all you need to do to get started is find your desired language right in this list. Now I'm sticking with English so I'm not gonna really change anything. You can still just tap on English, there we go. And from there we can select start. This will present us with terms of service from OnePlus, so you do need to select the agree. Before you do so, you can tap on this blue text right here or here and read both of the things that you will be agreeing to. As you can see, this is just a nice bedtime story right here that you can uh, go through. And from there, let's select agree. And this will take us to the uh, connection through SIM card, the mobile network. The reason for this uh, being here is um, you can insert your SIM card and later on throughout the process skip, for instance, con uh, connecting to your Wi-Fi and you will still have the option to log into your Google account. If you choose to skip both of those steps, uh, Wi-Fi and mobile, mobile data, like I will, uh, Google login page will not show up throughout the setup process and additionally date and time won't be set automatically, which you'll see in a second. So I'm going to skip this and also skip this. And there is our date and time, as you can see. So I could fix it up, uh, considering it's inaccurate, uh, or I can disregard it if I'm later on planning to maybe connect to Wi-Fi at home or whatever the case may be. This will bring me to Google services. So we have three different ones. We have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Quickly going into all three of them. Uh, location is just GPS tracking for apps like Google Maps. Then we have location, or not location, I already said that one. Uh, then we have uh, scanning, which allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And below that, we have send user and diagnostic data uh, to Google, which basically allows Google to gather data on how you use the device and send it to themselves. Kind of creepy, so I'll say no thanks. From there, when you go to the next page, we have some co-creator labs. This is uh, something from OnePlus. You can read exactly what this is. Uh, I'm honestly not going to be interested in any of this, so disagree. Bye bye. Then we have unlocking method. Right here, we can set up some kind of screen lock to our device, and we have several different methods of going about it. So we have um, have the lock screen password. Uh, so we can set up pin, pattern, or password. We have face unlock, which we'll use the camera for face recognition, and fingerprint, which is the under display fingerprint sensor. Now, just to clarify this, if you're planning to use, uh, for instance, both of those or one of them, uh, you are always going to be required also to set up some kind of screen lock. And the reason for that is if something would happen, for instance, to your face, your finger, maybe the sensor, the camera, whatever the case may be, you still have some kind of other way of unlocking your device and gaining access to it. Now, I'm going to skip this just because I don't really care to put any kind of protection on it, but you probably should to be told skip anyway now right here we just have some kind of cosmetic changes so we have uh, just a font we can change uh, the font type so we have a robot and one plus style as you can see they are a little bit different so choose whichever one you prefer more that's basically as complex as it gets and we also have one right here and below that we also have the font size and display size so can make the text bigger or smaller as you can see uh, and obviously you can also increase the font so you can make it really big if you want to or really small i'm gonna keep it at the default and then go to the next page which is the navigation style so you have two different ways of gesture navigation which luckily is the default way which i personally would consider to be the better way of navigating to the device it's uh, much smoother and uh, and I would say just feels more natural over the like the OG style of buttons at the bottom. Obviously, if you prefer buttons, all power to you, switch to them and you can go to the next page. I will stick with gestures, so that's where I'm gonna go. Select next and we have some recommended auto update overnight. If you want to do that, you can check it on. It will just automatically update your device when you're sleeping basically. And setup complete, so let's select start and this will now take us to our home screen. And there we go, 
setup is now completed. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.